Hello Bellas, it's me Shannon B for Brown Girl Bella. Back again to bring you more lips, lashes, and luxury. And as you can hear, Brooklyn is here too. So this month I'm going to bring you the monthly play or pass. And as always, I'm going to be telling you which products that are coming out I want to play with or pass on. So let's get started. So I'm going to use Trend Moods Instagram as the guide for this month's play or pass. And I'm going to talk about those products that I really want to either play with or kind of pass on. So the first thing that I actually want to play with has been on my radar for quite some time. It kind of released and then sold out, but I definitely have it on my radar to play with and that is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Face and Eye Palette. It comes with four eyeshadows and it looks like two highlighters as well. So separately, you might pay upwards of $88 for each of these, but all together, it's $155. So it kind of takes the sting out of it for me in terms of whether or not I want to purchase it because I'd end up paying a little bit over that amount anyway if I bought them separately. So why not get them together and save a few bucks? I have my eye on at least two of the palettes, but I definitely want to get at least one so I can try it out. The next thing that I want to talk about is something that I already bought, but I want to share it with you because it released today. Um, by the time you see this, it will be Wednesday, which will say tomorrow. Yesterday it released. And it is the Wayne Goss cosmetics line. He released his first cosmetics line and it is a luxury lip collection. The collection comes with 10 lipsticks, 5 cold pencils, and 6 lip glosses. I actually got one of each. So the first thing that I got is one of his lipsticks. I got Orchid, which is a burnt terracotta. Then I got one of his cold pencils. I bought cinnamon. Lastly, I bought one of his lip glosses and the color that I chose was chrysanthemum. I figured I'd try at least one of each of them and because the lipsticks and lip glosses look a little sheer and a little light, I chose the colors that I thought would best complement me. So hopefully they'll be great for me to wear and as always I will be sure to bring it to my brown girls just as soon as I get my hands on it. The next thing that I saw which was on Trend Moods Instagram was by MAC Cosmetics times Honor of Kings and it is a lip collection looks like a eyeshadow collection and lipsticks and possibly highlighters as well. They all look really, really light for me. I'm not sure if I want to purchase any of these products that are in here. The lipsticks are Party Line, which is a red tone plum cream sheen. Marrakesh, which is an intense orange brown matte. Dare You, which is a deep brown red cream cream sheen. The next one is Paramount, which is a reddish brown satin. And lastly, Brave Red, which is a bright yellow red cream sheen. Then they have the times four eyeshadows in Zhu Jing, Hai Zing, Zhao Yang, Li Bai, and Bali Yushu. I hope I didn't mess those up and if I did I'm very sorry. And then the Extra Dimension Skin Finish which I believe is the highlighter comes in Double Gleam which is a beige that breaks silver and the packaging is really really pretty. The colors are eh, kind of the same thing that I've seen before from MAC, so I'm not really that interested 
in pursuing these. So I think I'm going to pass on this collection. The next thing that I saw kind of intrigued me. This is the Norvina Volume 4 palette. And it looks like a very versatile palette that can be used either day or night. It has really beautiful, soft, glam looks with just a little pop of pink. And we all know I love my pink. So I think I might finally give one of these Norvina palettes a try. This one looks very intriguing to me. And I think out of all the ones that she released, this is the one that I most likely want to purchase. So I'm going to say for now, I'm going to play with this palette. The next thing is a beautiful, bright, vivid palette. And this is from Mamacita Cosmetics. This is an indie brand. And it has a new eyeshadow palette with 15 shades. It's called Hello Summer. It retails for $28. I'm really intrigued by this. Usually bright colors don't get me that excited. But for some reason, this one kind of piqued my interest. It has 15 shades six mattes, three shimmers, and six pressed glitters. And I am really intrigued. Okay, for all you Hunger Games fans, this one may intrigue you. This is the Hunger Games collection. It has a dazzling eyeshadow palette that retails for $20, a 3D full mink lash, which retails for $12 each, they have glitter liners, which are $14 each. A velvet matte liquid lipstick for $16 with two shades. And the exhibition Girl on Fire includes the classic eyeshadow palette, which is $20. The 3D full mink lashes, $12. The luminous liquid glitter liner, $14. Also comes in three shades and the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick, which comes in two shades. I am not interested in any of these, so I think I am going to pass. But if you get them, Bellas, please let me know and hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know how you like it. Back in stock, Mother Pat and her Mothership for the Decadence Palette. So as you know, this was previously released as part of the Star Wars collection. It is now back in stock as its original packaging in Decadence. It retails for $125 and it comes with 10 shades, which are all different finishes, but there are no mattes in here. So the 10 shades are Gold Standard, Inferno, Blue Blood, Sinful, Underworld, Enigma, Hedonistic, Divine Mink, Lapis Luxury, and Sterling. As you know, I already have this palette, so I'm going to pass on getting the original packaging since I already have the palette. So thank you so much, Mother Pat, for releasing it. If you did not get your hands on this palette and are a completionist like myself and want to get all of the palettes, now is your time to snap it up before it goes bye-bye once again. The next thing that I saw is by Shanta Kai, and this is available now as a pre-order. It is the Summer 2020 Collection and includes a Radiance chic cheek liner and highlighter duo for $84 each and it comes in coral which is a soft peachy champagne and the blush is a burnt apricot and it also comes in rose which is a pale gold and the blush is a wearable vivid pink this is intriguing to me it's a limited edition the highlighter supports Wild Aid and its mission to reduce global consumption of wildlife products. They also have a lip tint hydrating balm that retails for $38, $34, excuse me, $34 each. And it comes in four colors, Madeira, which is a sheer red, 
Kalandua, which is a sheer orange, Beach Rose, which is a sheer pink, and Verbena, which is a sheer plum. I am intrigued by the palette, and I think out of the both of them, I think I might want to get the coral one because I think that might appeal to us brown girls since it is a coral shade with a peachy champagne. I think out of the both of them, that may appeal the most to me. So I may want to play with that one. And lastly, by Huda Beauty, this is their Diamond Hydrating Lip Balms. It comes in six shades, and it has a diamond-like sparkle and a mix of rich emollients, including mango seed oil to soften the lips and leave them pillow soft and supple. Retails for $25 and the shades are negligee, a beige brown bomb with a glam gold crushed diamond exterior, seductress which is a peachy light bomb with a gold crushed diamond sparkle, and dirty thoughts which is a lilac bomb with subtle gold crushed diamond finish. And then they have the online exclusives. Censored, a deep purple bomb with a pinkish blue crushed diamond shimmery shift. Femme Fatale, a reddish purple bomb with a pink and blue crushed diamond shimmer. And Laced Panty, which is a warm pink lip with a pinkish blue crushed diamond exterior. These are coming soon online to Sephora, and as I said, three of them are going to be online exclusives, and all six of them are going to be available on HudaBeauty.com as well as Sephora.com. So, will I play or pass on this one? I think I'm going to pass. Just because I have a lot of lipsticks that I am really loving, these colors seem a little bit too futuristic for me and the shades are very, very light. So I don't think that they will be very brown girl friendly. And so for that reason, I am going to pass. And Bellas, there you have it. That is this month's play or pass. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, don't forget, if you are not signed up to be a part of the Bella Brigade, what are you waiting for? Turn that red subscription button gray, and then don't forget to tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. Until next time, Bellas, you've been Bellified.